Joe, what did you make of the match? Well, I think the first half we, we were better than, than West Ham. I think always when it's a derby, it's so competitive and so emotional game. And I think it was a fanta fantastic atmosphere. Um, but I think the first half, uh, maybe we deserve to go to the half time with maybe one or two more goals. It's true when it's 1-0 one, one in the second half, uh, West Ham pushed the lines and were, was very, very aggressive and was so competitive. And of course, uh, on the end, we suffered a little bit. It uh, was, uh, was fantastic, of course. I am really honest. Uh, of course, uh, amazing victory for us. Three points that keep us in a very good position, but I seem to congratulate uh, all the players because the effort was fantastic, but West Ham was was very good on the second half and, and made suffer a little bit. A little bit or a little bit more <laughs> than the, I, I would like to. Rissi, to what's, I'm sorry, what, what, what's the difference with Eric Lamella in front of goal this season? I mean, he's, he started the season in very impressive form. Well, I think it's, uh, you know, the form of the player uh, Sometimes change, sometimes it's difficult to explain to you. Um, the most important is when you trust and you feel the confidence. Um, I think we, we believe in him, we trust in him. He's a player that is more mature every time that he's here. After, I think that is the fifth year, or we'll start the fifth, or the sixth, now the sixth. And I think uh, more mature, that is the, the key, and it's more relaxed, it's more calm, and in front of the goal. Yes, now we need to be consistent and need to, yes, to play and play in his best um, and to manage him in the best way because we need to understand uh, from where he came and it's so important uh, always to pay attention to him. He's, um, he's obviously had to come through a lot, you know, to, to, to get back to this level of form. And I guess, as you just said, You've probably got to manage him carefully as well because of the injury problem. Yes, a lot of injury. Um, in five years, five years and a half, uh, the season was was tough for him, or the season before, sorry. Um, but patient, uh, believe, uh, care about your player, um, and I think that is the most important, and that is. Uh, like we were talking before with Jesus and with Simon, is to manage in <coughs> circumstance that is our show from uh, when we arrived here and in four years and a half we are managing circumstance, uh, different type of circumstance, um, but we are happy. That is our show. We'll see in the future uh, when the new stadium uh, will be ready and the training ground and everything. Um, only we will be focused in trying to win games and win title. That would be fantastic for us. Do you believe Lamela is the best player for your team at the moment? The best player? Yeah, at, at the moment. Look, I don't like to talk about uh, individual. Of course, we can talk today that uh, Hugo was fantastic, but I think all the team uh, was fantastic. The attitude was, was great. Uh, always performance is about to improve because never is enough for me. Um, but I think he was good to score, fantastic for him, for his belief, and, and, and I think fantastic because we get three very important points and a very, very tough period that uh, we have ahead, and I think start that period with three points here, as, as I think it's fantastic for the team. Richard, can I ask you about Musa Sissoko? He hasn't always had the fans on his side, but the last two games he's been had two standing ovations. What did you make of his performance and why is it so? Important? I don't understand what, what you say in the third part of the question. Um, he, the fans haven't always kind of been supporting Musa Sissoko. Maybe. Are supporting? Yeah. Maybe haven't in the past. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, but now, yes. Last, but he said the last two games he's yeah. played very well. He's been applauded. Yes. No. I think he's, uh, of course, he's a very honest and professional player. Um, you know what you are going to receive from, from him. And I think. Uh, the squad always in 25 players. You need all different type of of uh, player, and I think Musa provide the team a very good balance, you know. And I think um, yeah, I am happy that the fans start to see him like uh, a player that helped the team, helped the club, 
and recognize that uh, his value. <coughs> and of course, uh, we can ask him to do different things or things that we can ask to another player, but he's always to give you all that uh, he has in, inside. And that is, uh, is very good uh, for the team. Um, I am so happy. I am so happy that the fans start to recognize him, uh, his value. Finish with Tony in Mauricio, this is your best start to a season. Um, this is My best? The, 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 the club. Ah, yes. Um, the, the club. The Premier League. The Premier League, League period. Yeah. Um, does this justify not buying players in the summer? You showed that you can hold your own? To be honest, uh, I don't want to take advantage about that. I think uh, football is always, you need to think um, that you can improve and you need to try to improve your squad. I think it's, uh, I tried to explain last week or a few days ago about what happened in the summer, all the circumstances. But if you say to me uh, that we were so clever and we are a genius because we didn't sign and, we are, and now, uh, after nine games, is the best ever no? star in Premier League for the club, I am not going to be... Uh, that type of person that are going to say yes, we were, uh, we, oh, we are a genius. No, I think we cannot sign for different circumstances, but we we wanted to, to sign, um, and happened that was impossible. And look now, no, the, the, the circumstance arrived, and the best star ever in the in the Premier League for Tottenham. I think it's a, maybe a coincidence, or maybe it's because uh, we work a lot, or maybe because uh, no, we are not a genius, but we are clever people. But uh, to be honest, um, always you try to sign, and it's going to come now January, and we are going to try to sign. And then it is not possible. We are going to to tell you was was an impo was impossible to to sign. But I think no. Only us, all the clubs and the manager want to sign players, want to refresh the squad. I think it's, 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 it's very necessary. And if today is happened that, uh, maybe um, okay, we can we can say okay, well done. But if you ask me, I am happy. I don't know. I am happy because the result. But I think you cannot play with the destiny and you need to do the things uh, properly. Um, I don't want to say that it's not properly no, uh, no sign, but I think we need to try, we need like a club to try again in January or in summer to try to sign or to try to refresh the, the squad if we want to move on the, the team and the club. Okay. Last one here from Jack. When um, teams like Liverpool grind out a result in tough circumstances, people say it's the performance of champions. There's not too much talk around Tottenham like that this season. Why do you think that is? Sorry, you can repeat because I was... If, when the people... Yeah, so say, Liverpool, about Liverpool. Do you want to say, yeah, so say, you say Liverpool win a game in tough circumstances, 1-0. One, one people say it's the performance of champions. But not many people have been saying that about Tottenham so far this season. Why do you think that is? Yes, I don't. I don't care. I don't, look. <laughs> no, I not. I, not, I don't know. Maybe I don't care. For me, it means something. For for you, different. Eh? Um, no, it doesn't matter. It's not a problem. It's not a problem for me if the people don't want to give the credit to us, or the team, or, or the or Tottenham. I think the most important uh, that we are here to try to win games, to be in a very good position on the table, uh, to manage a lot of circumstances uh, that happen on the club that, that are not the ideal uh, circumstances to work. If we want to one day to win titles, I think uh, to play in Wembley, play in Milton Keynes, uh, different circumstances that you say, OK, come on, if we are realistic, uh, I think we need to celebrate the position that we have today and, and receive a lot of prize about that. But it doesn't matter. Because I am not here to uh, to make happy some people. Uh, only I, I want to be responsible. Uh, we want to be responsible with our club. We want to be 
um, responsible with our squad, our player, and try after to manage circumstances and try to be professional. I think that is the most important. If the people will give uh, credit to us, fantastic. If not, keep going, pushing work, and try to win games. That, that is our uh, is our show. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.